All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Me and little buddy is going to do a unboxing video. Um, Mama's at work, so we got work to do. Guys, if you're not ordering your trains from trains.com out of Beaufort, Georgia, <coughs> I'm telling you, you're missing out. I ordered this Friday, uh, well, really Thursday night, Friday morning. It was around midnight, and today's Saturday. I mean, every single time I've ordered from them, I've got it next day. Granted, I am an hour and 30 minutes away, but they ship FedEx, and uh, these guys have it going on. So, um, I'm going to try to do this one-handed. I'm going to get this out of the box. And uh, this train here is a uh, like a conventional-style transformer train. So, the rest of everything out here that's always running on this line is Line Chief. But I wanted something that I could come out here, turn on, and just let it run and not have to worry about batteries dying. So uh, let's get this thing opened up and we'll see what we got. All right guys, so uh, I got this thing wrestled out. Let's go ahead and check out this locomotive. And um, before we go any further, the main reason I purchased this set, to be honest with you, is because of the transformer that it comes with. Wow, these are some nice cars. Especially that Katie car. Um, that's really nice. Look at that. It's a little crane. That's super cool. Little winch line crane. Have to get everything untangled on it. And, you uh, know. Yeah. That's all right. Figure out how to fold this thing down. Buddy, you okay? All right, so um, here's the next car. It's a standard box car, Western Pacific. Ah. Now, um, some people will probably uh, ask me if I'm gonna keep like this box. I'm not, I'm just gonna put it right on the burn pile because this stuff's going right outside on the outdoor layout. Well, of course we have our tunnel there where we park our trains at night. Nice. Nice car, doesn't have a lot of weight to it. This is a plastic bottom car. Um, mm, I'll definitely have to add some weight to this if I plan on really, you know, pulling it like I do the rest of my trains, which, uh, you know, you guys follow this channel. I built some humongous, outrageous trains on this channel. About 30, 30 cars deep sometimes. But man, these cars, this rolling stock rolls smooth. All right, this out. You okay, buddy? Yeah, he's good. Let's get this one out and I'll get the caboose out. Well, here is the star of the show. It's got some good mass weight to it. Uh, make sure our horn and everything's on. Directional control is on. Yep, it's a good little engine. Um, so this is like a, you know, this is a dual motor engine. Um, I prefer the newer style where the, the engines or the motors and these things are the vertical style. They seem to run a heck of a lot smoother. Um, this thing also came with a bunch of fast track, which is super great. Um, you guys know this entire line is fast track. And um, I'm actually working on a custom line specifically for this train. Um, its loop is going to be over here. But, I mean, I'll, of course, still run it on the main. Um, and right here, boom, look at that transformer. Guys, I, I tell you, I'm super stoked that um, that we wound up finding this. Like I said, I, I found it on trains.com. I don't believe that it had been on their website very long. Um, and when I seen it and I seen the transformer, I knew uh, without a doubt I had to order this set. Like I said, I, I ordered it for the transformer and pretty much got track and train. Um, the reason I, of course, got this transformer is because that's what runs my line. We're gonna go ahead and energize this too. Uh, we gotta be quick with it because little buddies out there. So unfortunately, let's see here. Let's go see what this thing's doing. We might have to bring some more voltage up in order to get the rail sounds. See, I've, that's my problem is I've got my transformer in here trains out there I 
Let's just see if this thing's moving. Not yet. Not yet. It does have train sounds. Let's still give it some more beans and see which direction that it's in. Um, you good, buddy? We'll be right back. That's really strange. It's got all the beans, but it's not going anywhere. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to look at the listing and uh, conventional direction convent or control horn on. Let's just see if we can get it to do anything. Oh, okay. We're on to something now. Hello. Hello guys, we got it. So I just had to change that setting. Um, I know I am gonna have to put the power up on that thing just a little bit because it's not nearly as strong as, um, let's say the new Lion Chief engines, but that's okay. I mean, this is a pretty old train. Let's we'll still give it a little bit more beans. We have distributed power throughout the entire line. Um, you know, we're running uh, AC on this setup. Um, so let's go give it just a little bit more power. Cause that was just a little slow. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm pretty impressed. This thing is, I got it right at half throttle and it's running excellent. Um, it's smooth as glass too. Um, so these cars haven't sat for months outside in the, in the weather. So uh, these are super, super, super smooth. I've got to really maintenance the rest of my course. Damn, we just had a crash. You see that crash, buddy? Uh, I want to back the speed down some. All right, so sadly our couplers are junk and they're letting go pretty easy. So I got two options. I can either rebuild these things or I can glue them shut like I do on a lot of my engines that have, or not engines, sorry, cars that have this problem, is I just glue them and uh, glue them in a closed position. I might have to do that if I want this thing to run. But uh, train itself is great. And it's, uh, you know, it sounds good. You're good, dude. So might have to try that. All right, guys, so just to be honest with you, I did not have the heart to glue this engine up. Um, yeah, that wasn't going to happen. I just took some tie wire. So let's see here. I'll notice I can, I guess it runs like T. I guess you can, um, you know, you can do the directional stopping, but I don't have, you know, I, don't, I can't just run in a, in a shop and do it. So that works kind of well doing it like that. So I like to give it a little bit more juice. But uh, this train here, I never plan on pulling large trains with it. I just want something that I can turn on outside and leave running, really to keep the uh, keep the tracks good and clean. That's right, we got a good couple there. That red of that car is beautiful. Let's go give it just a little bit more beans and let this thing run. Well, the gluing it idea might have to happen. I don't know why it will not stay connected to these uh, cars. Awful strange. I'm about to go try uh, another car. I'm about to go get one out of the building. All right, guys. So we got it going now. Um, I went up taking and just wiring up those uh, the two front couplers. So you know, it's it's not a fast engine. It's not supposed to be. It's not nearly as strong as like the Lion Chiefs. But this is going to be something more I can just cut on. I can sit out here and I can watch go around. Um, it's pulling a pretty heavy train right now. I probably need to take some of the ballast weight I've got out of one of that, that back gondola there. I've got about a pound of nails in it. So I'm going to take them out. Oh, look at there. We had a couple of break free. Uh oh, we're going to have to grab this train. All right, so I, after a couple of derailments and, um, you know, I'll probably wind up having to do some work on this, uh, on some of these cars just to make them where they'll run well on the line. But, you know, all in all for just a budget set, it's running pretty good. 
the problem with it now is um, getting the speed to where it has enough power to climb the hills, but yet not so much that it flies down the hills and wants to derail. So let's go back to speed down just a little bit more. That's where these Lion Chief engines are super handy, which uh, of course I have an assortment of them in here in our rail yard, which I changed up this morning. The bummer is I won't be able to run these engines with this one ever, being that that's conventional, unless there's a way I could somehow convert it to where I can run the track at a constant 19 volts or 18 volt AC and regulate it like you do a uh, line chief engine. I wish that, that there was a way too, because that thing just looks good. And I also wonder if you couldn't run like two power units on something like that. Truth be told, I probably should uh, put this thing in little buddy's room and uh, let it just be his, but we're just gonna run down here on the line. What you think, bud? You like it? Here, I'll sit you down. Yeah. Well, what do you think, you like it? He is pissed. <laughs> 